All right, who's up for some one-dimensional, poorly researched yes. political <laughs> commentary? Yes. With pop culture references from 20 years ago. Yes. No running in the halls of power, Nancy. <laughs> One, two, Harper's coming for you. Three, four, ceases at your door. The Harper government of Canada has turned your flag, our flag, into a white flag of surrender stained with the blood of soldiers. We are no longer the peaceful nation. We are no longer the protected nature reserves. The wholesale bidding war to our trees and water and oil has begun in earnest. When Mulroney! <laughs> says that Harper is selling out Canada. <laughs> you know we're in trouble. <laughs> He's turning our wilderness into one giant tailing pond and calling it a swimming pool. He has a master's degree in economics, so he knows how to make Canada wealthy, but ethically, he's a little shaky. <laughs> Five, six, worship economics. Seven, eight, he will legislate. He's attempting to make tyranny acceptable in Canada. He's turning the American dream into the Canadian nightmare. Robocalling his way to a future where we are no longer regarded as a country people around the world look up to. The Canadian passport used to be able to go anywhere with a smile. Not so anymore. And the new bill being passed in the wake of the shooting on Parliament Hill will make all of our internet communications fair game. In the grand scheme of things, I see him as a Freddy Krueger making me never want to fall asleep. It's a nightmare on Maple Street. Nine, ten, I'm Canadian. 